On an uncharted island sits a lighthouse. It's a very special lighthouse that projects a message of love and hope throughout the world. The Protectors are a special team chosen to protect our world from the Syndicate, an evil group determined to spread darkness. These Protectors, chosen to fight the Syndicate, are known as the Light Force. I think I'm gonna go crazy. It's just been so quiet around here. Well, half the team is on a mission. What mission? There's no syndicate to battle. Oh, they're just on a training mission to help them work together better. While Vanguard is resting, I wanted to make things a little easier around here. Has he made any progress? I can't tell. Defeating the syndicate took everything out of him. Not everything. Bro, you're awake. Yeah, I feel like I finally have my strength back. How long was I gone? You were unconscious for a few days. Looks like your vitals are back to normal now. Excellent. Any word from Scourge? I think you defeated him. He's been silent for a while. Maybe he went into hiding. Cowards always hide. Still, I want to do a double check of the Nexus and make sure we got all that darkness out of there. I'll come with. It's been a while since I did a Nexus run. Great. Let's go. Sage! Sage, are you here? Prism, what's wrong? It's Vanguard. Did something happen to him? Is he okay? Sage, you don't need to go in. I'm here. What happened? What went wrong? I think my powers are gone. What? Yeah, he tried to use a light blast and nothing happened. That doesn't make any sense. Let's see. When he restored the Nexus, it must have taken more out of you than we thought. I was afraid of that. But we still have our powers. Well, just because we have our powers doesn't explain why vanguards are gone. And the bigger question, where does that leave us? You are fine. Don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm gonna go to my quarters and figure this out. Sage, we gotta figure this out. How can we be a team without Vanguard? Don't worry, Vanguard will be back to his old self in no time. Vanguard Journal 35. I don't want to worry the team, but something definitely happened. I know my powers are gone, and I'm not getting them back. This is gonna change the team, but I think it happened for a reason. I believe this is what God wanted me to do, and that makes it worth it, because I would give all I have to save this team. What are you doing? We have to figure out how to get your powers back. Okay. And what is that? It's a scanner that Prism made. If there's something wrong with you, this will tell us what it is. Ah. I don't understand. According to this, you're absolutely fine. It's because I am fine. Wait, I have something else and I just tested it out. It's an amplifier ray. What does it do? It makes our power twice as strong. Whoa, why did you make so many cups? And stress must be making us thirsty. Well, let's try it on Vanguard. Experiment away. I feel the same. Well, try it on me. Whoa, I understand everything. I know how to redesign the room. I know how to turn the Nexus into an energy grid. I know how to make croissants. Great, but do you know what's wrong with Vanguard? No. I think it might be time to accept that my powers are never coming back. I'm not giving up until I make everything that can be made. How's it going? I 
think I made everything that could be made. What's this? It's a thingamabob. I got 20. What does it do? Something, obviously. I can't believe I can think of so many solutions, but I can't figure this out. Maybe we should take Vanguard to see a superhero doctor. Those don't exist. Well, maybe someone should go to school and become one. <laughs> what is God doing? I can make anything, anything, but I can't make one thing to help Vanguard. Guys, stop trying to figure out how to get my powers back. You sound like you're giving up. We still have lots of options. There are no more options because they're gone for good. Seriously? How can you be so chill about this? Because of the reason I lost them. I would do whatever it took to save the team, and that meant losing my powers. It's a decision I would make over and over again. Why would you do that? Because my powers were never mine, and I gave them up to be used for God's purpose. So how is giving up your superpowers better than having superpowers? Even more, I consider everything to be nothing compared with knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. To know him is worth much more than anything else. Because of him, I have lost everything, but I consider it all garbage compared to knowing Christ better. Philippians 3.8. But where does that leave us? In the same place. It just changes the mission of the team. What about protecting the Nexus? We don't need to worry about the Nexus anymore. The Nexus has enough light to be able to spread love everywhere. Now we just need to go out and show what that love actually looks like. You know, I've been thinking that. We've spent so much time fighting the Syndicate, I think we lost track of who we're fighting for. I still don't understand why you had to lose your powers, especially now that the mission is changing. It was never about my powers. God is still in control. He leads this team. I don't. And I think it's time for someone else to step up and lead. Who is that? You, Sage. You always were the better leader. I know. But I don't think I can lead the whole light force without you. You can. Because you're leading with God. Does that mean you're going to leave? No. I'll stick around, offer advice, but you're going to take this team to the next level. Okay. We just got you back, and now I feel like we lost you all over again. I'm not gone. Just changing what I'll do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to expand the Light Force. We're going to create two teams, Light Force Red and Light Force Blue. And that way we can spread out and cover more ground. I like it. I think the mission just got bigger. Because it did. Hey everyone, Spectrum here. Today we learned that giving what we have can make a difference. What a crazy day. Vanguard really gave everything to defeat the darkness. And he's still giving a ton, even without superpowers. He is such a great example of someone who follows and lives like Jesus. He reminds me of a story about some other people who followed Jesus. In fact, they were two of Jesus' closest friends, named Peter and John. Not long before this story happened, Peter and John saw Jesus die and they saw him come back to life. Then, Jesus gave them a mission, to tell every person on earth that he died to show them how much God loves them. That's what we celebrate on Easter. Our story starts with Peter and John going to a place called the temple. For people back then, the temple was the place to be. Everyone went there to talk to God, to talk to other people, and sometimes to just hang out. If something big happened, you went to the temple to talk about it. Peter and John went there a lot to spend time with God, so the day started out pretty normal, but it didn't stay that way for long. Just outside the door to the temple, there was a man sitting on the ground. He sat there because well, he couldn't walk. There weren't wheelchairs back in the Bible days, so he really had it rough. This guy couldn't work, so he had to beg for money to survive. Since the temple was always busy, he sat there. Every day, all day, people would pass by and some people would give him money, but most wouldn't even look at him. That's why it was really weird when Peter suddenly stopped and looked at the beggar. Peter said, look at us. The beggar looked up at Peter and John, thinking they'd give him something, but Peter just said, I don't have any silver or gold. Ugh, rude. Way to get the guy's hopes up, Peter. He wasn't done though. I don't have any silver or gold, 
but I'll give you what I do have. In the name of Jesus, get up and walk. What? This guy had to be so confused. But then Peter just starts pulling him up. He had to be like, no, I can't, I never. But then suddenly, amazingly, he could stand. He could walk. People that saw what happened told others, and soon it seemed like everyone was running to the temple. The guy who had never been able to walk was jumping, running, and dancing with joy. Everyone wanted to know what had happened, so Peter stepped up. He told them all about Jesus, what he did, and how they could choose to follow him. Peter got to tell a ton of people about Jesus, but it all started when he chose to give what he could. I love what Peter said in that story. I don't have any silver or gold, but I'll give you what I do have. I love that because, well, I don't have a lot of money either, but there are a lot of other things I can give. God gave Peter the ability to heal people, and Peter used that to help people. Now, I can't do all the things Peter could, but God has given me so much that I can share. What do you have that you could give? You could be a friend to a kid who's alone. You could give someone your time by listening to them. God has given you some great things to share. You don't need money, fame, or superpowers to change the world. Every time you give, you are a light for Jesus. Until next time, Light Squad.